Tired of spending so much money on crab? With this cooking hack, you can turn that cheaper imitation crab into a meal you'll love. Although it's not the real deal, imitation crab can still be quite tasty. Some foodies turn their noses up to the affordable seafood replica not because of its flavor, which is admittedly saltier than real crab, but because of its texture. And while some might also avoid imitation crab because it's made from fish paste rather than authentic crab, proper preparation can make all the difference. In fact, a faux crab dish, if done right, could rival the genuine thing. Give another chance! So long, imitation crabs! I knew it was you all along, Mr. Krabs. So how do you turn this strange imposter into a true delicacy? Toss it in the air fryer for a real culinary transformation. Imitation crab often boasts a full, rubbery mouthfeel that's not as light as real crab, but air frying it can produce a crunchy, airy texture for a satisfying bite that distracts from its denseness. Compared to deep frying, air frying is a lower calorie option because you don't need additional breading or frying oil to get that classic, crispy consistency. While some people enjoy uncooked imitation crab rolled up into sushi, air frying opens up a world of flavor that you can't get from eating it directly out of the package. By using an air fryer, you can melt butter, oil, herbs, and spices into your imitation crab, and because air fryer circulation is designed to cook your food evenly, each bite will be bright with flavor. When it comes to building restaurant-worthy plates using air fried imitation crab, creativity is encouraged. Sure, it can be as simple as olive oil drizzled fish sticks with seasoning, but thinking outside of the box is how you can make imitation crab really stand out. Crab cakes, anyone? Mix imitation crab with breadcrumbs, egg, mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, Worcestershire sauce, celery, dill, and your favorite seasonings, then form the mixture into patties and air fry until they're golden and crispy on the outside. Or celebrate Taco Tuesday by dusting your imitation crab with taco seasoning and air frying until slightly crispy before serving on warm flour tortillas with slaw and zesty citrus-tinged crema. You can also try making seafood skewers, classic crab rangoons, crab stuffed bell peppers, or warm crunchy crab meat for a beachy salad. Although imitation crab meat can be a real treat, it's true that it doesn't taste exactly like fresh crab. While imitation crab is red on the outside, it's typically made from a white fish paste with added flavoring, starches, and other additives to mimic the taste of fresh crab. It has a mild, slightly sweet, and somewhat briny taste that goes well with traditional crab pairings like lemon, butter, and garlic. However, faux crab lacks the rich, buttery essence of fresh crab and needs to be properly dressed and prepared to truly imitate its seafaring counterpart. When it comes to health benefits, fresh crab is the clear winner. It offers 24 grams of protein per one cup serving, loads of essential vitamins and minerals, and a nice helping of heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids, while imitation crab is a processed food that lacks these qualities. While it's not quite as nutritious as fresh crab, imitation crab is significantly more affordable. Crab is an expensive delicacy because of the labor-intensive process of catching and harvesting. Trouble with supply and demand, shipping, and species scarcity also contribute to crab's reputation as an elusive seafood ingredient. On the other hand, the most common fish used to make imitation crab is pollock, which is easier to harvest and produce in mass quantities. This is why the fake stuff is a more affordable option for foodies who crave a crab-based experience without putting a dent in their wallet. When shopping for imitation crab, you're likely to find two variations, flakes or sticks. Flakes are diced chunks of fish meat that are more commonly sold in American markets. Between the two styles, flakes have a more muted, mild flavor along with a dense, rubbery texture. Sticks, while still made with pulverized whitefish, have a richer taste and a juicier quality compared to flakes. They also pull apart and shred similarly to fresh crab, and they're molded to mimic the shape of real crab legs, making for a more convincing image. Imitation. Despite the differences, imitation crab is a solid alternative to fresh crab, and if you have an air fryer handy, you'll be enjoying restaurant-quality seafood dishes in no time.